Now we know the tropics are on your mind tonight. They are certainly on our minds as well. So let's get back to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins for a look at what's out there right now. There's a lot, Bobby. Yeah, really. You know, it's that time of year, but this year is supposed to be a little bit busier, and, and it is, of course, as you can see. So let's start there. Let's start with both tropical depressions. I'm not even going to mention the one that's way out there near Africa at this point. That's nothing to talk about at this point. Tropical depression 13, the one on the right side of your screen, 14's on the left. 13 is the one that we're really watching, but we're keeping an eye on 14 as well. Both just updated at 5 o'clock with new tracks. Both remain tropical depressions, not quite strong enough to have winds of 39 miles per hour or higher to get a name and to become a tropical storm. This one has 35 mile per hour winds. It's moving to the west northwest at 21 miles per hour. Pressure hasn't dropped either. It's 1,008 millibars. That's exciting, isn't it? Look at this. Monday, a very minimal Cat 1 hurricane coming through Miami, across South Florida, right up across southwest Florida and just off the coast of Tampa and up towards the Big Bend. This will change a little bit. So will the intensity. But if you're at home and you're in Florida and you're looking at this, you need to be prepared for potentially seeing a Category 1 hurricane Monday and Tuesday. All right, I'll put it like that. It's the middle of August. You should have your kit. You should have your plan ready to go. Don't board up yet, but keep an eye on it because we may have to do that in some locations. Now, the forecast models are still shifting. They will continue to shift. But you can see there's not a whole lot of disagreement there. The, the disagreement will be where does it turn? Does it turn east of Florida? Does it go even southwest of Florida? There's going to be a little gap in there. Now, Tropical Depression 14. Both of these are actually forecast to strengthen the tropical storms tomorrow. You can see that Friday morning, 40 mile per hour winds just off of Central America there, 65 mile per hour winds near Cancun by Sunday morning, and then moving up into the Gulf of Mexico towards the Houston area. How much is left over at the Yucatan Peninsula? We'll have to wait and see. These forecast models are shifting eastward. That is actually a good thing because that may allow the other storm, the one coming towards us, to shift eastward. But again, these are all shifts in the, in the models and they will continue to do so. That's why we do want to keep an eye on 14 as well too. The warnings and watches, actually all watches at this point, but it includes all of those Northeast Islands, the Virgin Islands, the British, the U.S., St. Martin, Anguilla, Barbuda, uh, all those areas, and Puerto Rico. Our friends in Puerto Rico are under a tropical storm watch, but I think most of the wind goes just north of those islands. That's why it's a watch at this point. That is the system that's way out there, still about a 40% chance of developing, no worries right there. Laura and Marco are the new names coming up. I can't tell you right now which one's going to get it. It's going to be a race between those two.